You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Hi, everyone, and welcome to The Splash. I'm your host, Jonathan Jackson, and joining me today on the show are the two co-announcers for WBLD's football games, Jake and Vibov. Guys, how are you doing today? We're good. How are you? Nah, good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing great. Awesome. Well, glad to have you guys here. I mean, you are a voice we often hear on WBLD 89.3, but uh, we're here to talk to you guys, you know, a little bit about you. So, uh, you know, where do you guys go to school? Are you you're from West Bloomfield? Yeah, we both go to West Bloomfield. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We also both live in West Bloomfield, too. Nice, nice. And uh, how do you like it over West Bloomfield? Hi. Well, yeah, I really like West Bloomfield. Yeah. Like, there, it's a, there's a lot of kids, and it's like a public school, so... It's what you would expect it to be. Right. Yeah. yeah it's, it's diverse and definitely comparing it to other schools, like, I wouldn't really want to be anywhere else. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now, is that, when you're at West Bloomfield, when, how did you get involved with the radio station? Did you hear about it at school or somewhere else? Well, last year we heard the same radio station for, like, 89.3 with Justin Frommer from last year. Mm. And then five of and I, we, we talked about it, and I wanted to talk to Mr. Watson, who's our principal about doing the radio commentating and then so I emailed him and then he talked he got back to me like right away mm -hmm. about this radio station and he emailed he referred me to Dave Scott who's one of the main guys here oh okay nice and then from then you just kind of worked together to make it happen yeah yeah we met a few times over the summer and just kind of got stuff going and what we needed to do to do the job for you know announcing the games and then once the season started we just picked up from there Awesome. Now you guys obviously do the football games. What is it about football you just enjoy so much? It's just a sport that we've both grown up watching and it's just really fun and yeah. Yeah, I mean, something that we both like and we even play like, you know, in the backyard sometimes. So, something that we love to watch and play. Yeah, yeah, it's a great sport. Love it too myself. I'm a big Lions fan, but also I'm starting to become a Lakers fan cuz I get to hear you guys. So, it's working yeah. out. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the Lakers a little bit. You know, they're doing all right, but they've had a couple games where they've struggled so far. Uh, what would you say your thoughts are for the rest of the season? Do you see good hopes or are you worrying about their, you know, playoff contention or something like that? Well, currently our record stands at 3 and 3, yeah. which is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. We have three more games left, which means like we really do have to win at least two of them to make the playoffs or even talking about yeah. the playoffs at all. You know, now that we're a more successful team because the last two years we made the playoffs, mm -hmm. we were undefeated last year and we came into this year with high, with high expectations as well. And now, like it's a mid-season basically, I would say. Yeah. And then the team just needs to really mesh together right now. Yeah. There hasn't really been very close games that we've lost. And definitely, like, with the bunch of the new transfers that we got recently, it's just that chemistry that's been building throughout the year. And, like, during the home stretch of the season in these last three games, it's really important for us to, like, get those games together. And then I think the team is coming together well right now. We've had a few tough losses, but those only make the team stronger. And, of course, you know, Coach Bellamy, you know, is doing a great job bringing them together and making them focused for this last stretch. Yeah, Coach Bellamy, love the guy. We had him on the show a while ago, and uh, he mentioned you two and just said, you know, what, you know, guys are doing a great job over there, and you're working hard, and you're, you're helping get these students used to public speaking, which can yeah. sometimes be difficult, but you guys do it very well, i got to say, and I, I love listening to you two, you know, so. But uh, I was also curious to you know, what, what is it about ra student radio, or radio, I guess, in general, that appeals to the both of you? Well, right now, I think this is a great start for both of us. Mm -hmm. It's a high school atmosphere, and it's pretty easy access for everyone to listen to. Yeah. Like, a lot of people go on the radio, or it's even online, too. I always tweet it out when we're live. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great start for us, and it can lead for, like, future radio or even on, on television as well. Yeah. Along with the accessibility, just, like, the passion for the game, I guess you could say, like, just to be involved with football, even if we don't play football. And, you know, of course, as Jake said, we can go with it further on and continue our love for football in other ways. Yeah, yeah. And radio, too. So you yeah, get it both. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's both. That's awesome. And uh, any other sports you guys involved in over at or West Bloomfield? Well, I play baseball and tennis as well oh, okay. for the high school. And then also, we, we're not sure yet, but they want us to commentate for basketball. Okay. That, that could be something, yeah. Yeah, and I also play tennis, and I'm hoping to play basketball this year as well. So, no. I mean, we'll have to see how that plays well, out. Well, you're very tall, too, you know, <laughs> so I can see that working out. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, tennis, another good sport. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, um, I guess oh, my last question, though, for the day would be, you know, what is it you guys are hoping to do in the future? You know, probably radio broadcasters or going to school to learn more about journalism or broadcasting? Or, is that the plan? Or? Definitely that's, like, something that, 
we would both think about. I know I definitely think about it. And we even see our friend Justin Fromer, who at Michigan State, you know, is doing some things with their team. And so just following his lead and just trying our best to keep it in the back of our minds while we're, you know, progressing in the future and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah since we're already, like, starting at the high school, mm -hmm. I think we're paving our own path since we also have another year because we're only juniors right now. We have another year for commentating. We have another year to get our voices out and more people will hear about us. So it's like really great to start here. And of course, I, I will like consider, I really do want to commentate further past high school if the po opportunity comes, but also I have to focus on school as well and yeah. education. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM. You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.